didn't check the old fire either, so that it might have been enough to save us. Let's go for another run. That was pretty quick. max speed bonus you can get is 50 so 25 isn't bad I don't think you can get like a 30 or 40 either another spin mall blaster what's the passive tracker swarm slug shot very similar to what we had last time the tracker swarm actually has some range to it like bam I believe. No negative effects on these either. Find salvage more often. Each room cleared increases weapon damage to a maximum of 20. That sounds epic. It's talking about rooms, not phases or floors. This early on, we're, we're definitely going to clear enough to get that a max. Dagger him. At least we got the speed bonus, and that guy only hit our shield. The doggy. Pop another shield since we're at max adrenaline. Get our integrity increased. I don't like taking out these guys first because of their homing things, but they're the only enemy presented to us. Not really much of a choice. level was like drawn out by the enemies intentionally avoiding us no dash and what weapon will we get here a hollow seeker Shrapnel and waves. We got DOT and just extra damage. And a tendril pod. The tendril pod isn't as good as tracker swarm, I don't think, but the weapon itself, I think, is better than the slug shot for now. Or whatever, the spit mall blaster with the slug shot. Wound Seekers is decent pickup, especially not having to spend anything on it. thing for us to get. Okay. I'm 
Now we could get that chest and get a Disgorger gun. But I think it's better if we use it for the alternate path. So that gives us a Disgorger gun and like a room full of extra benefits essentially. Go Tendril Pop. almost bad. Okay, can't let him punk us. Gotta get up in there. I think we gotta get those real quick. Yeah, we lost a lot of multiplier. We get another another key though. There's a lot of stuff going on in that that floor. And like one or two grappling points. At least we can get health or integrity back potentially upon killing enemies. That is a really good pickup. Give me that damage. Give me some integrity since we can take it. Hyrule Shell Caster. Sticky Bomb or Bonus and Secondary Explosion. Versus Durable Rot and Enlarged Chamber with a Rot Group Plan Lobber. Neither of these are my favorite guns. One has vertical barrage for the alt fire, the other has a horizontal barrage. Fuck. Let's try the pyro shell caster. <clears throat> I don't think the second secondary explosion is guided, but maybe. Although it probably would have been a good idea. At least we had a 50 speed bonus. 
execution rush, melee kills briefly increase speed by 25, and protection by 25. Or we get the progenitor egg, which attaching or detaching parasites repairs integrity. Just repairs though, doesn't increase it permanently. Let's do the melee rush, that sounds better. There are some enemies we just have to melee when they have shields. Damn this obelisk, man. What the hell hit us? This guy. Launcher, easy to use and replicating hits. I forget what easy to use means. I think it means the reload is easier. Okay, let's get our disgorger. The absolution disgorger releases an explosive shot charged with destructive energy. Not sure if I've used that one yet. Oh, hey, I just got here. I didn't even choose one, you bastards. Bro. Okay, that's cool. Give me some damage for free. I think we missed out on health vials, shield vials, and a disgorger. Or either of the, any of those. Shredder. Enlarged chamber and adrenaline discs. Um. That might be better for the boss fight. Man, 
he's running. Oh, okay, he didn't, he didn't run that time. So I've said before that the malfunctions from the bosses are usually the same. I think it is like the same pool of malfunctions, but I see we, we just got different ones. But it's like ones that I've seen before. It's usually like stationary. When stationary, your damage is reduced. When in the air, your damage is reduced and the hoblets disappear faster. extra damage so let us reduce the amount of resin needed to increase our max health let's take another disgorger here the quad swarm I'm more familiar with that one in my mind the one we we got rid of was just like a bigger single sh single shot version of the quad swarm. Disruptor pretty effectively there. I don't I don't think we see a lot of turrets on like the third phase or third floor. Spit mob blaster at the same level but with a passive locked. So I think we'll ignore that. I think the Doombringer ult fire will break shields though. But kill shot I think does more damage if you hit their critical spot. Which is what we currently have equipped. Uh. What is this? I don't want the dreadbound. It'd be nice to break shields, but there's some passives that break shields, I forget. bonus. Not the weakest, though. I've seen the 5 speed bonus. That sounds like a boss. Come on. I was in the middle of my attack. Should have had more shields up, and I could have used our disgorger. That would have been smart. No, hold up. He missed it. Could have got a key. I missed that too. You bitch, I see you dodging. Oh my god. I'm gonna call 
bullshit on that. I think we got another spit mall blaster, but I couldn't tell. I know it was like three levels above what we currently have, though. Oh, it's a carbine. Okay, we're gonna need to grapple out of this. a disruption sphere there probably just to get a speed bonus. I think this gives us a bunch of oblets. Oh, and I see some other some other goodies here. We got three shields, let's pop one. Hopefully don't waste it. Don't have a key to use? Oh god. But we can see what's in this one. A sidearm with a rocket locked. This one isn't bad, actually. A lot of the... The passives for the sidearm are not good in my opinion, like the burst fire and I think it has like a charge shot or something that just slows down the damage that you do, although it's supposed to help you out. Um, I like the carbine too much to give it up, honestly. Tracker Swarm does pretty good ult fire. Sense danger. God damn it. Those guys shot stuff at me faster than I expected. I'm trying to kill these flying fucks. Really hit me with that? He must be behind a wall or something. And then he teleports. Oh my god. we had another shield, honestly. But maybe this was for the best. I saw the impact, but I didn't know he where he was exactly. He's a teleporter fuck.
least we got above a million this time. It's kind of like the new standard I'd like to set for myself. Recharging response, getting hit produces all fire cooldown by five seconds. Maybe. No, let's just do more damage. I do need to remember to use the alt fire more though. What little goodie will we get here? Energy manipulator. Using a consumable briefly increases protection by 10. Not not very good in my opinion. Bottom tier. Get another carbine. The one we have actually has some good passives though. High caliber. We have them both. Halo rounds. Hardened would replace like leech rounds essentially. I think armor piercing would get through the barriers and our void beam would be locked. Although I think it still gives us like the first level of it. Apparently it's not as strong either. Just in the bonus damage area. The overheat limit and projectile speed is increased. Let's see what the other gun is. A dreadbound. Staggering protection is still return damage. I think the dreadbound is like a gambit depending on what we're going to be up against. Generally the level of the enemies on these higher floors are more spread out, so we're going to take the carbine. Caliber, which we could have benefited from, but I think we're all right. I don't even think we got a speed bonus, though. At least we didn't like lose the multiplier that that much. If we get a shield here. We got a speed bonus, really. One of these floors that are designed to tempt you to fuck yourself up. Yep, just like that. Pop our other shield, and we're going to ignore that shit because we already got hit. God damn you, obelisk! This one isn't homilist. Or is it? It is. I forgot it was a void beam. Come 
want to take the exit with those projectiles, those homing projectiles on our ass. These do give us negative effects. Hoblets last longer, but enemies will drop a pool of acid, so that's like counterintuitive. Suffer damage from picking up items. Prevents, fix or prevents one malfunction, detaches afterwards. That sounds, they both sound like utter garbage. Whatever, maybe we could we could hypothetically avoid the pools of acid, we can dodge over them. There's a cipher in the alternate path there that I always miss. levels above what we had. I don't even know what it was, but we needed it. I want to save the Disgorgers for the, the boss fights, really. Not the mini boss battles. Hollow Seeker is good. That portal gun? Portal beam? That is great. That might be our saving grace. Beam does work. Does that door to door business kind of work? It's hard work. Coil spine shredder versus retarget, serrated projectile, split beam, and portal turret. I think it just beats the coil spine shredder, even though coil spine shredder might have better single target damage. We're gonna take this, we're gonna pop a shield, and we're gonna hopefully get past the first round without needing to use a Disgorger. Also, I think we have, like, the AoE Disgorger, which is not great. I can't believe he hit us. Hit. Yeah. Oh, fine. 
The shield breaker does a good bit of damage, despite it mainly being for shields to be broken. Pretty sure that's the one we got. Or is it kill shot? I don't remember. Oh no, it says shield breaker level 3 down there. We're trying to unlock, so we probably got level 1 or 2 with us right now. Let's get our free integrity in the chunky center here. Chunks everywhere. Yeah, I didn't think we'd be able to afford the damage augment, but we're only off by a little bit. That is kind of sad. all malfunctions. Probably won't fix the permanent because they're permanent. Let's try adrenaline cooling, I guess. As we saw, the old fire cooldown for the old fires are pretty useful. Just need to remember to use them, actually. No key for us. We only got one more disgorger, but we probably want to save that for the third boss if we can get there. Check out the physics. Thought there was a cipher there for a second. Okay, I see you there. I think that was the only one. Oh, I think that was just the uh, acid. Ignore that guy. Try to get all the flying fucks. Did he jump at us? I think I heard the jump. That is some horse shit. Shield burger. Yeah, definitely gotta use the old fire more because it KO'd that guy from like three quarters health to zero. Coil spine shredder with tracker swarm level two. Locked splitting discs. Negating disc, shattering disc, and twin disc. So it's like all single target damage, although it doesn't bounce. Hypothetically, it could hit more. Pyro shell plaster caster with auxiliary projectiles and large chamber and seeking flares. Level two horizontal barrage. I don't really like the barrages. I might undervalue them though, but it might be better in like dense crowds or something. It's only two levels above what we got right now. I think the hollow seeker is just better with the, the portal turret. Increases positive effects of upcoming parasites. Or unfed pod grants 20% stagger power for each attached parasite. You don't have any. Might as well get this. It hopes it'll make a parasite more enticing. Right, we don't have one. Oh, we do have one. We have two. I thought that was on our last run. They kind of force the parasites on you at at this point, though. They're suiciding us. to get the proficiency, but it didn't let us. Is there another one? Oh crap. This is 
is like a floor full of bosses, essentially. Great. Coming, but I was trying to dodge at the last second. I think those projectiles that it fires like accelerate as they go or something.